Okay, so question one. A teacher asked a random sample of 10 students to record the number of hours television T they watched in a week before their mock exam. She then calculated their grade G in their mock exam. The results are summarized as follows. Part A, find STT and SGT. Okie doke. So, first thing we're going to do is work out STT. So, S T T. I'm going to make these T's a wee bit smaller. S T T is going to be found by doing the sum of T squared minus the sum of T to be squared over N. Now, let's see if we have all this. We have the sum of t, we have the sum of t squared, and n is going to be 10. So, we get 8, 7, 0, 2, minus 2, 5, 8, squared, 2, 5, 8, to be squared over n, which is 10. And we're going to bash that into our calculator. So, get your calculator out. Be very careful. 8, 7, 0, 2, minus a fraction, and open up some brackets just to protect it. 2, 5, 8, to be squared. To be squared over 10. That's going to give us 2,045.6. And we're asked to work out SGT. SGT. Now, we have to be quite careful here. SGT. It's going to be sum of G times sum of t, or sum of gt, should I say, minus the sum of g times the sum of t over n. So sum of gt, 1550.2. Minus sum of G, which is 63.6 times by the sum of T, which is 258 all over N, which is 10. Again, another job for the calculator. So, 1550.2 minus 63.6 times 258 over 10. That's going to give us negative 90.68. Okay, and the next part is to calculate the three sig fig the product moment correlation coefficient between t and g. So, part b, r is going to equal uh, sgt, so negative 90.68 all divided by the square root of 2045.6 times by and uh, 7.864 so we're going to whack that into the calculator now so we get it's a fraction we have negative 90.68 over square root of 2045.6 times 
that's going to give us negative 0.714956 and so on. Let's give it to three significant figures here because I don't want to be writing this out. Negative 0 0.715. So negative 0 0.715 and that's the three sig fig. You can write the whole thing down if you like. Okay, the teacher also recorded the number of hours of revision V the students completed during the week before their mock exam. The correlation, co the correlation coefficient between T and V was minus 0 0.753. Describe giving a reason the nature of the correlation you expect to find between V and G. Okay, so let's try and get our heads around this. Um, v is the, the number of hours spent re uh, revising and T is the number of hours watching television. So as the number of hours of revising increased, the number of hours watching television decreased. So that's suggested by that negative correlation coefficient. So, so as V increases, T decreases and then we've also found that as where are we um, as the the number uh, the, the number of hours watching television decreased the number uh, the grade increased so as T decreased as T decreased, G increased. So, so if we revise, then the number of t hours watching television goes down. And if I watch less television, then my grade goes up. So I would expect I would expect V and G to have a positive correlation. So because um, because as the number of hours revising increases television decreases, if television decreases, the grade increases. Well, then I would expect that if I if I spent more time revising, my grade should go up.